Today we're going to have something delicious and nutritional. You know, my whole thing is that we can eat good, but we also can be healthy. So today I'm going to make a nut burger. That's right, I'm going to make a burger out of nuts. Now what's great about this is nuts are packed full of energy, protein. They have one of the leading most force in omega-3 fatty acids. So we're going to get a multitude of nutrients in our nut burgers. But best of all, they are delicious. So what we're going to start with is our nuts. We're going to get some almonds, walnuts, raw cashews, and pistachios. Boy, somebody's been eating my pistachios. I wonder who got inside of those. <laughs> but anyway, all of these. Now, with my nuts, what I use, they are 100% natural raw nuts. Not dry, roasted, salted, or anything. We want 100% natural. And with this recipe, you just use equal portions to everything. So if you use a cup of one nut, you can use a cup of another. Two cups, two cups is a very simple recipe. And these are the nuts that I'm using. But you can use any nuts that you like. I have walnuts, cashews, pistachios, and almonds. And we're going to get a cup of each of those all ground up. So let me get my cup and we're going to get to working. Also with this, I'll be needing an onion. I'll be using and some carrots and some amino acids. So let me get all of that together. wash my hands we get all set I tell you when I first made these they were so good I couldn't believe it and I'm gonna show you how you can pack them and carry them with you and they keep for about a week okay let's get started now you'll need a high power blender for this now I have my Vitamix machine, but you want something that's going to really grind your nuts well because you're turning it into like a, a, a meal. And when you have nuts that are raw, they have moisture in them. They haven't been all dried up by being roasted. Okay, so I'm going to get a cup of everything. You see how the mixture gets really, turns almost into a paste. That right there is some good eating, I tell you that. Let me get my knife to help me get some stuff out of it. Way down in there. There we go. And I 
I know some people, it's like I keep my nuts in the cabinet, but some people actually keep their nuts inside of the refrigerator. They say it keeps them more moist. I haven't noticed a difference, so I keep mine in my cabinet. Next, I'm going to do two cups of almonds. And again, these are raw almonds.
So I'm going to peel off this outer edge. If you can, get organic carrots, but if not, you know, it's best if you just get some type of vegetable. So even if you can get organic, carrots are rich in beta carotene. So I'm going to peel these up and I'm going to stick them over there in my blender to get them really nice and shredded really well. And it's quick too. And if you have a food processor, you can do it in your food processor. I'm gonna cut out the cut off the ends. Make them a little bit manageable to stick aside. And put them right in here and grind them right up. Okay, so I'm just going to peel this right fast, and I'm going to stick it over there too. You know, onions are really good as an antitoxin. So I love to get onions in almost everything I can. I'm going to take that off there. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit so it can dice up really well inside of my blender. And if you have a food processor, you can throw it in there. Since I have my blender, I use everything I throw inside my blender. Okay, so I'm going to have to be really careful with this because if I don't watch it, it'll turn into onion soup. <laughs> That's about it. It's getting kind of soupy already. Let me just get this out the way. amino acids. Now you all know that I've used this many times before. It's Briggs amino acids. It tastes kind of like soy sauce but it's much 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 more nutrition nutritional for you. It has amino acids which are really important to our um, nutritional for our health but try it. It's Briggs amino acids. It's a natural source of um, all-purpose seasoning is a great um, use of soy protein. And I'm just adding a couple teaspoons in it. And it's to your taste and your flavor. And this is the part now, I have to mix it with my hands. But what I do is before I start mixing it, because it's kind of messy, I prepare my um, patties. What I'm going to do is I use wax paper to put my patties in. And each patty, I put inside the wax paper, I fold and I put it inside a bag, uh, um, a plastic baggie. And that way, whenever I need a burger, I just pull it out. Now, if you don't tear your paper off first, you'll see once I get the mission this up, it's all over my hands and it's a huge mess. So I try to prepare myself first and tear off my wax paper. I make them all about the same size. Now with this here, it makes about six patties. And 
It's so convenient the way I do it. You just have a burger, pull out a patty anytime you want. And a lot of times I just eat the patty by itself. But today I want to make a, a burger. It's going to be 100% raw because I plan, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Let me just do this first. Okay, we, we have that all done there. And now I'm just going to get, let me just wash my hands one more time because I'm going to mix all this stuff up. Just get ready. And now we're just going to mash it all up together. Get it nice and blended. Make sure everything is well mixed together. Now as I'm squeezing this, I also turn the bowl as I'm going. It seems that it gets it really mixing it very well. Because you want it from top to bottom. You want all the flavors to be saturated together. You want to make sure you get everything all together. And by these nuts being raw, you can smell them. And they smell delicious. I try to make this mixture at least once a week. Because instead of eating meat, this has everything that, you, that meat has. And none of the negative things that meat has. Like it doesn't have all that cholesterol that a um, block your arteries. This right here raises your good levels of cholesterol. It actually helps clean the plaque out of your arteries. It's really healthy for your heart. And if you need that pickup during the day, eat a nut burger. It has plenty of nutritional values that will get you on your way. Okay, there we are. Now, I just need to taste it, even though I can kind of smell it and not tell that it's okay. But let me just grab a spoon. I'm just going to taste a little bit to make sure I have enough amino acid. Mmm, that is delicious. Wow, I do love me some nut burgers. Okay, now I'm just going to make some little patties. Make them as big as large as you want with me. And as I said, see how messy my hands get? But this is what I do. I just pop it right there, fold that over, move it out the way, and go to the next one. a lot of things. I also make wraps and whenever I make the raw wraps a lot of times they break up but when I wrap them in my wax paper it keeps them from falling apart while I'm eating them. Nice little patty. Bam. Okay. Now, as you see, I have each one of my patties in a little clear wax paper, and I just fold it, and I put it in the individual bags. Now, this is what I do, and I put it inside the refrigerator, and whenever I'm ready to go, I just take them out and grab them and eat them. And I usually throw these inside my purse, and they last about a week inside the fridge, or 24 hours if they're out of the refrigerator. And I always carry something with me whenever I'm out and about because since I am a vegetarian, I'm hungry all the time. Because vegetarians, we graze. We don't just sit down and just pig out one full meal. So I'm going to make sure I have something nutritious with me. Something that's good. And these nut burgers are excellent. So as I said, two cups of each made about six patties. And if you're doing this for the week, then you have to patty each day. Now you can go to my website and I'll have more nutritional value um, regarding the patties. I'll let you know the calorie content 
on them in case you're count, counting calories. But if you eat healthy, you necessarily don't have to count calories because you'll burn everything. Everything that you need is in your food and your body will use everything and nothing will be left to store for fat. And I squeeze all of the air out of it and just seal them up. Okay, I'm gonna use mushroom as a bun. Portobello mushroom. They're actually delicious. And with mushrooms, you don't necessarily wash them. Just get some paper towel and go over them a little bit if they're really dirty. And I'm just gonna slice it in half and I'm gonna build it just like it's a bun. absorbs the moisture and moisture is what ruins greens. Now we're going to have a couple little wild greens, baby spring mix. It's got arugula, a little spinach, and my tomato. This will be the icing on the cake here. Remember, we don't need any onions because the onion is already inside. Put it on there. And there's your mushroom, portobello mushroom nut burger. Let me cut it in half. Now that's delicious, isn't it? Now, I have a little bit more, so what I want to do is I'm going to make a little quick salad just to toss with it, just something a little fun. I'm always thinking of things at the last minute, but it's no problem at all because we're going to get it started. I'm going to mix together a little salad, and a lot of times people say they don't have time for things. I'm going to show you how quick and fast it is to make a quick salad. I'm going to cut off a little tomato. Quick tomato in there. Okay, the end that I wasn't going to use on my sandwich, I'm going to throw this on there because try to use every piece of food that you can. Nothing goes to waste. Okay. Now it'll be a little boring salad, but I'm gonna look inside the fridge and see what else I have to put in there. Got a little avocado. I just like to peel it. You don't have to, but I do. This is a one, two, three salad that it will be delicious with my nut burger. Isn't that delicious? Look at that. Now I'm 
Now look at that. A perfect, healthy, nutritious meal that's completely raw. And you can do it yourself. Don't be intimidated. Just go out there and try it. And remember, live your best life the only way you can. You have to fuel that body with healthy, nutritious, God-given food. That means plant-based food. Try to have 80% of your diet a plant-based diet. And here we have fruits, vegetables, and nuts. We have protein, carbohydrates, Mother Nature at its best. Okay, that's all today. And any information that you need, you can check out my website. That's LatoyaMatthews.com. Take care. See you next time.